Hey you guys, you don't know a thing go. You see me, I'm a daughter birthday. <laughs> yeah. That's right, you guys. It is Quinn's birthday. So, of course, we have Quinny in the building. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel. Y'all, look who it is. Look who I have in the building. It's Quinn. Say hi, Quinn. Hi. Hi. Finally, Quinn is back in the building, y'all. Yes. Look at all this hair. Shake them your hair. No, seriously. What does she expect for me to do with all of this hair right here? So yes, Miss Quinny is the birthday girl. And you guys, for Quinn today, we are going to give her 10 feeding ponytail, okay? It's 10 feeding braids going into a ponytail. And of course, it is her birthday. So I'm going to do a little extraness for her, okay? But you guys, to achieve this look, I like to start off by sectioning the hair first, of course. And to do that, what I do is I section or I part the hair straight from the um, forehead down to the nape of the head and then from there i'm going to split that in half again which will equal to four sections So boom, that's our four section right here. And once you have achieved this part, you guys, I like to take a little piece from each section and that's going to be a knotless braid. I like to have at least one to two knotless braids depending on how big the head or the amount of hair one may have. And um, what that does is it keeps tension away from the head from the middle of the head and of course if you suffer from headaches or even if you don't suffer from migraines it is always best to do something in the middle to keep all those braids from pulling directly center of your head so always be sure you guys to have one to two some people could even do four but for it to get down that far you need like a lot a lot a lot of hair and of course it depends on the size of the feet and braids as well and then in um, quinn's case we're doing just one knotless box braid Once that's done, you're going to section off your hair. Normally, I would section off the whole head, but today we're just going to section off five pieces for that side first. And once I get that done, then I'll move on to the other side. But always be sure, you guys, to section your hair off before you start your braiding process, especially if you're new at braiding. It just makes everything so much easier. And of course, proportion control, okay? We always have to make sure our braids are super nice and neat and crisp. And for Quinn, we're not leaving any edges out because she do have natural baby hair. So they're going to come out regardless. So to try to preserve the braids for as long as possible, I'm going to swoop her baby edges into her braids. And for that, you start braiding the hair naturally by itself first, y'all, before you start to add small pieces of braiding hair.
if you're new here, child, you will probably hear me say this over and over and over and over again. And um, if you know me, you know that honestly, as cute as, as uh, the ponytails are, regardless if they're kids or adults, I'm not really a fan of doing feeding ponytails only because I feel so bad for the client's neck. Because I need to get to the back, baby. And for me to do that, you have to keep your head down. And I know sometimes that can be a little bit painful. So we are just going to scam through the back very quickly. Because that's exactly what I did in real life, okay? When I'm doing the feeding ponytails, the back, I just be zooming through that thing. Just to make sure that my clients are comfortable. Now for the other side of her head, like I mentioned before, you guys, I'm sectioning off the hair before I begin the braiding process. And it is a total of 10 feet in braids. So I'm going to make sure I split that side to equal to five feet in braids since I already completed five on the other side. So for the birthday girl, I can't just let her go out like that. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to have a little fun with her style, you guys. I am going to give her two small, cute little hearts for this braid right here. So I will have one heart going down in one direction and the other will be going on up on the other braid. And this is exactly how I achieve my hearts, you guys. Super simple, super quick and easy. And of course, once again, I want her style to last her as long as possible. So for the heart, I am doing the braiding method. I'm not using any rubber bands. I don't want no extra flyaways out for her to deal with. So it is going to be braided. And if you miss this heart step by step, it is okay, you guys, because I am going to do one more for the other braid. So pay attention. Again, I am doing another heart, you guys, and this heart will be going upwards into that feet and braid that will be closest to me. Okay, so yeah, you guys, this is exactly how I achieve my small, cute little hearts.
and here we go all we're doing is swooping the edges into the braid and i'm starting off by braiding her hair naturally by itself for like a good three to four times you guys because i want to make sure there's no extra tension around her baby hair edges area and from there you guys i'm just going to start to add small pieces of braiding hair and of course i'm using the stitch method y'all i'm using my nails to create my stitch look but if you're not used to or if you're not comfortable using your fingers your nails you can also achieve the stitch look with either a comb or um they also have um like a pointy stitch type of tool which you can get on amazon you can get from the hair store all those good things to help you achieve the stitch look All right, y'all, we about to get to the back. So we're going to make sure baby girl get a little stretch in. I have one more braid left, and I'm making sure that, you know, she's ready for this. And once again, I will be zooming right past that back because we got to get baby girl together, okay? That neck, I know that neck be hurting at times, but you got to do what you got to do. I know y'all see this coming all together. Look at it. Look at it. And look how beautiful Quinn is. She's so pretty. Yes. Thumbs up. Come on, girl. If you're feeling your hair, just let me know. Okay. Period. Period, 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 period. And you guys, for the ponytail, I am using a ponytail holder. And of course, I am going to just um, wrap that around twice. Um, I don't want it to be too tight for her. I just want it to, you know, look uniform and well put together. So for Quinny, we are also going to curl the ends, you guys. I am using curling rods. Um, you don't have to curl the ends. I just feel like it just makes the style look a little bit more cute. You can, and you are welcome to just leave it straight. And um, of course, for the curls and to give the hair a more flowy look, you need to dip it in hot water. And of course, you guys, I'm using hair mousse to keep the flyaways down, doing all that good stuff for baby girl before we put her under the dryer.
I think she's really starting to feel her hair for real. Like, girl, I didn't even give you a mirror to look at it yet. So, you guys, we're tying down her edges. And then we're going to have her sit under the dryer for a good five minutes. Birthday girl. I know. I have to hook her up for her birthday. Mm -hmm. We're done, but I'm just adding some stuff yeah. to her hair. Y'all, we have Mr. Kauta in the building, okay? Chrissy dropped her off, and Crescene is here to pick her up. And, of course, he's excited. Uh -huh. Yeah, guys, it's a birthday girl. This is her birthday look. So, y'all will see more of it. Hey, you guys, you it. don't know a thing, go. You see me, I'm a daughter birthday. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. How exciting. Okay, everybody's excited. It's Quinn's birthday. She's beautiful. She's excited. She's ready. And I'm so excited too. Yay. Happy birthday, Quinn. Pretty girl. Y'all be sure to tell Quinn happy birthday. Let me know if it's too tight, okay, Quinn? That's right, y'all. I always ask everybody to let me know if the hair is too tight. And remember that knotless braid that was in the middle? I always use that to wrap around, only because I know I can control if it's going to be too tight or not. Keep that in mind, you guys. All right. You want to see it? All right. Let me show you too. Girl! I'm excited for you, girl! You see a little heart? Mm -hmm. That's your birthday hearts right there. Mm -hmm. Period. Mm -hmm. You like it? You like it? It's cute, right? All right, let me finish recording. I don't want to take out this on Hold on, let me finish recording. Huh? Mm -hmm. You're going to do what? So she don't want to take, take it out. out. You're not going to take it out? <laughs> You're going to leave it like that? Yep. Okay. Y'all, look at Quinn just whipping out her phone to record herself. Girl, what is going on? I know that's right. Yeah, this is the final, final look, you guys. I'm super excited for her. Her hair is nice, it's clean, it's cute. She's definitely ready to celebrate her birthday, okay? You guys, thank you all so very much for tuning in and spending this time with us. Thank y'all for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. Until next time, peace and love. Happy birthday, Quinn. Love you, baby.